So, uh, what do you guys want to do this weekend? Uh, can we please go ice skating because I really want to. IDK. IDK? You don't know? How about we go to the airport and fly down to Houston, Texas for a fun adventure? Are you actually joking? What do you think? Yeah, I do. You guys want to go? Yes! We're going to go get some barbecue. We're going to go look at the NASA Space Center where they launch or when they monitor all the space shuttles. And then we're going to go to a big festival on Sunday. And you guys, we're probably going to miss school on Monday. Because I actually Are you excited? Are you actually lying? No. Wait, let's go. go. Let's go. I am super excited about this trip. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna start by going to the uh, NASA Space Center in Houston. That's where they have all the mission control. They have the uh, decommissioned shuttle there. You can look at all this stuff. It's uh, super cool. I was there a couple years ago, so I'm excited for the uh, for my kids to see it. Then we're gonna take a drive to uh, Galveston, which is right there outside of Houston, right there on the water. There's a pier, lots of cool stuff to do. So we're gonna check all that out. Uh, plenty of barbecue in between. And then on Sunday, there's a, a big festival outside of Austin in Lockhart, Texas for the uh, Texas Top 50 Barbecue Spots where they're going to have booths uh, selling food. So there's a great way to kind of try all sorts of stuff. So super excited. So I made it down to Houston, had a, a decent night's sleep, uh, had some breakfast. Next stop is the uh, NASA Space Center. Check this out. This is so cool. Space shuttle on top of the plane. Wow. Space How does it feel to be an astronaut? Whoa, look at that. So this is pretty cool. It's got portraits of all the astronauts from all the space missions, and there is a lot of them. Like, you don't realize how many of these missions took place. Super cool to see all this. Can't visit the Space Center and not try the uh, freeze-dried astronaut ice cream. How is it? Good. Is it super dry? Yeah. Freeze-dried astronaut ice cream. It does taste like ice cream. It's pretty good. So we looked at all the stuff inside. Now there's these tram tours you can purchase where you go outside to look at other stuff. So we are doing the uh, mission control one. There's 87 steps to get up to 86, sorry, 86 steps to get up to uh, mission control. You know, it was a different time back then. They have built-in ashtrays in the seats for the uh, observation room of the uh, control center. Mission control was pretty cool. It's really crazy to think that uh, all that happened in 1969 they were able to do all that and seeing those old computers and the buttons and all that stuff crazy highly recommend you guys check this out if you uh if you ever have a chance okay so this is definitely the coolest part coming out here and can go inside the shuttle and the uh, carrier so uh let's go check that out NASA Space Center, super awesome. Got some pictures too, uh, and now let's go get some barbecue. Wow. 
was wow. hungry, thank you. All right, so we just worked our way through our uh, our lunch. What do you think, buddy? I'm about to explode. <laughs> it was really good. I didn't really uh, record too much of us eating. We're just having a really nice time. But uh, as always, truth is delicious. Great brisket, great turkey, awesome sides. Uh, really cannot go wrong with it. So we're gonna get a get a bunch of it to go. It's gonna be a dinner for tonight, and uh, yeah, worth coming down just for the food. This is where all the magic happens of truth. Right here. How many briskets fit in this thing? Uh, you're just about 24. We uh, made it down to Galveston. So this is right on the uh, Gulf of Mexico. And uh, this is like a bike week or a bike weekend going down because there is there are thousands of uh, of motorcycles out here. So we're gonna walk around, take some pictures, take some videos, hang out, and uh, yeah, really excited to see all of it. I have never, never seen so many bikes in my life. This is so cool out here. We made it down to the beach. Beautiful day out here in Galveston. How's the water? Is it cold? Is it cold? It's cold. Smells uh, very fishy out here on these rocks. That wheel's almost as big as you are, Nyonya. All right, so we are uh, heading out of Galveston. It was a uh, pretty fun time. The Pleasure Pier, kind of a ripoff. So there's these rides on the pier that you can go on, but you have to pay an admission just to get on the pier and then pay for the ride. So for our kids to go on there with us and only for them to ride the rides, it would have been like 80 bucks. Or if you want to buy an individual ride ticket, you still need to buy admission to the pier. So not really worth it, uh, but across the street, there's these uh, two kind of 5D rides where the whole thing moves, you get the 3D glasses. So those are much cheaper and the kids had a uh, good time there. And it worked out awesome with this Lone Star Rally. So I had no idea this was going on. And there were so many, so many bikes, all these uh, kind of shops set up and yeah, really cool to see. Uh, it said that it's uh, America's largest motorcycle rally. So definitely a uh, fun experience down here. Day two starts now. We are going to be leaving for Lockhart for the barbecue festival. But before we go there, we're going to stop by Bucky's. The kids have never been. It's a uh, Texas institution. It's a giant gas station and so much more. Are you guys excited? Yeah. What are you going to get? Beef jerky. <laughs> They're they have a whole wall of beef jerky at Bucky's. So I'll show you guys in the video. But uh, yeah, cannot wait. Let's go explore Bucky's. Look at this. Gonna buy a smoker. It's an inflatable Bucky. Check this place out. the kids are a little bit overwhelmed with uh, how much stuff is here. Hardcore Carnivore, got the full lineup. Cosmos Q, Meat Church on this side. Hey, Wait, what is it? It's a dog bowl for Jax. Should we get him a uh, Bucky's, yes, yes. Bucky's bowl? Yes. Yes. It's a kid's it's lunch a kid's tray. Kid's <laughs> it's good not, enough for Jax. It's not for dogs. It's good enough. It's good enough for you guys. It's my selection. Slice brisket, chop, pulled pork, sausage, turkey. Wow. Let me see. Mama's juice, that's pretty cool. Freshly roasted nuts and a whole fudge bar. All right, check this out. This is a full case of jerky. Honey jalapeno jerky. Ooh, that is delicious. Here, yeah, grab the basket because we're uh, running out of space. And then this whole side is Bucky's swag. All right, so we made it down to a lock cart. We got one line to get our wristbands, then we'll get in and it uh, should be a fun time. Here, get a sticker, and you can put a sticker where uh, where we came from. That's so cool. But can I put it on one? Yeah, yeah, where we where do we come from? Wait, no. wait, yeah, the other nice. There is so many people here.
So this is the move, is to get one of these uh, half foil pans and then walk around to all these uh, booths and collect all your food. Our tray of food keeps growing. Let's try to fill this whole thing up. This is the way to go right here. This is the 94 gallon offset for mill scale. Miso yaki brisket bow. Hey, here's my favorite Austin How people. You? How are you? <laughs> Out of everything else, but we have pickled pumpkin right now. I'll take so it, is, baby. I'll uh, take it. Set it down. The inner white girl in all of us. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> all right, so we are done with the uh, Texas Monthly Top 50 Festival. You guys full? Yeah, that was pretty cool. All the Top 50 restaurants are here. Tons of food, and the best part is that your ticket includes the food so you don't have to purchase anything separately it's all just right there you can eat as much as you want and uh it was awesome really good time so now we're gonna drive back to houston hang out for a little bit and we've got a, a 6 a.m flight back to chicago tomorrow all right one last stop before we go back to the hotel boot barn for the young lady because she really wants a pair of cowboy boots so let's see uh let's see what we can find oh my gosh i'm a cowboy all right looks like uh, we might get the hat too Look at this, whole outfit. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, so this is now our final stop. Uh, we are going to get some Whataburger for dinner tonight. Hi, can I get uh, two number ones, please? Everything on them? Uh, yeah, everything on them. Mm. So thirsty after this entire day. Even though we ate a whole lot of barbecue, it was delicious. There's just something special about a uh, fast food burger and an ice cold Coke. I asked for their ketchup and their spicy ketchup, but I did not get any, so it sucks. Fries are good. It's a good fast food type of fry. And for the burger, I just got their uh, single patty or their regular single, everything on it and cheese. There it is. Mm -hmm. It's a good burger. I'm gonna finish eating this, relax for a little bit, and then uh, wake up super early tomorrow because our flight back is at like 6.45. It was the cheapest flight out of Houston, so we gotta wake up at like three o'clock, head to the airport, and go back home. And just like that, our Texas adventure is over, about 3.30 in the morning, getting ready to head to the airport, and go back home. <laughs>